One of the secret ingredients to a good kung fu movie is the casting of a great actor to play the villain. In most Chop Saki flicks, we encounter the usual suspects that are stars in their own right. Stars such as Liu Fang, Lo Lai, and Huang Zhan Li. And while these names are legends in the game, the truth is, is that they can't be everywhere. And sometimes you need a few stand-ins that are just as reliable and equally special. And that group goes by the name of the Five Evils. These villains are all recognizable and know how to bring the filthy. But who are the Five Evils? Where are they from? What movies were they in? Hi everybody, my name is OG Ant and I'm here to bring you fun perspectives, historical breakdowns, and hot topics on Low Wolf and Cubs Profiles. The Five Evils are a group of well-known martial arts actors and former stuntmen who have forged great careers, but may or may not have garnered the superstar status as some of their contemporaries. Yet still, many of our most memorable moments come from this quintet and are as follows. One of the most recognizable villains in all of Kung Fu fandom, Wilson Tong built a name for himself with his fancy footwork and terrific choreography. Appearing primarily in martial arts films throughout the 70s and 80s, Lung Fei is perhaps best known for his portrayals of thick bearded or mustache villains. For your pride. You're wrong. It's a matter of honor. Mr. Shah, my good name depends on this. I'll oblige you. With one of the most menacing grills to ever grace a movie screen, Ma Chin Ku is an absolute badass. Master Ma, you've gone too far. Thanks, Hershey. You're asking to get yourself punished, too. <laughs> Fung Hak On is a highly regarded actor in the villain space and has played important roles in some of the most popular kung fu movies of all time. With 
his success in both Shaw Brothers and Golden Harvest Films, Lee Hoi Sang's resume is absolutely legendary. Judging by these examples, one could argue that the five evils are some of the most consequential martial arts actors of all time. And we intend to honor this glorious fivesome by encouraging you, the fans, to continue to watch their movies and support as much martial arts content about them as you can. That's what we intend to do here at Lone Wolf and Cub. So on behalf of myself and the rest of the crew, this is OG Ant signing off. We'll see you soon on the next edition of Profiles.